Hey, Frank Paris here with my new Retro Delray Computer Deck. A retro Delray Computer Deck. This is a computerized deck of cards which is used uh, in homage, I should say, homage, I, uh, of uh, a magician called Delray who lived a number of years ago, passed away uh, a number of years ago, and, and did most of the magic that he did using electronics. Uh, I first saw him uh, when I was I had a video production company back in the 90s and uh, the Tannen organization asked me to record uh, the Tannen Jubilee so we brought our camera crews down and we started uh, to videotape the performances and the lectures and that kind of thing and Del Rey was there uh, doing uh, he did two close-up lectures and one of the things that uh, caught my eye uh, was that he was using all electronics Everything he did had something to do with electronics to make the trick work. And one of the things he did was a, uh, uh, a card trick with a, a computerized deck. He called it the computer deck. And uh, I have in the past uh, played around with uh, computerized decks uh, that uh, people have made and that kind of thing. But nothing really came along until... Um, uh, Joe Stevens, uh, uh, Joe Stevens Magic Emporium came out with a uh, what he called the modernized Delray computer deck, and he manufactured. Well, actually, he didn't manufacture it. Bill Spooner, uh, a magician, manufactured it. He had electronics background, and he had uh, people in the electronics industry that could manufacture a uh, computerized board that worked. Uh, inside of a deck of cards, and that computerized deck uh, became the modernized computerized deck uh, sold exclusively by Joe Stevens at Joe Stevens Magic Emporium for $649. So anyway, uh, that deck came out, uh, and I bought one. Uh, recently, I just acquired a original Delray computer deck. Okay, this was one of his. This belonged to him. This is it right here, and you can see that. I put it in a new box. Uh, I had to do some updating, not updating, I had to do some repair on the electronics. And so this deck is now working, not perfectly, but it's working a little. I don't use it in shows, but just as a collector's item, I, I, I'm, I'm keeping it uh, for uh, the, the simple fact that it belonged to Delray. So anyway, I got to bug up my kazoo to come out with my own version of the Delray deck. And I wanted it to look similar uh, to the original Delray deck. Now the modernized Delray deck by Joe Stevens Magic Emporium is not the same deck as the Delray retro deck. And it's not the same as the uh, one that Delray used. So it's neither one of those. This is what it looked like back in the day. Okay, and uh, I added the two LEDs on the side because the version that he had, that he used in his shows, had two LEDs on the side. This is an earlier version of the Delray deck. Again, this is his deck. This was his unit, and uh, I can show you how old it is by showing you the electronics. So you can see how old this thing by the electronics and the technology that was used back then in the 90s, okay? So this version that I'm coming out of, I'm just going to throw this over here on the side. <coughs> this version that I have right here is my version, but it's a retro deck, and it's like, it looks exactly like the one that he used in the um, shows that he did. Uh, not the earlier version, but a later version. And it has um, two LEDs, one on each side, okay? And it's got a monitor, okay? And this, uh, this can be set for five and eight, and I'll explain that in a second. And the way you set it for five and eight is you take this stick, which comes with the Delray deck in this box, and you press it in, okay? And it, it clicks, and now it's set for eight. If you press it in, it's set for five. Now, you do not have to turn this deck on once you've turned it on the first time, okay? 
So once you go in here, because your battery pack is over here, once you've turned the deck on, okay, uh, with the battery pack, here is the battery pack right here. I'm just going to get that. Once you turn on this unit, there's a little switch there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little tiny switch right over there. Once you turn it on, you can leave it on. You're not draining any battery at all. I try to think of everything. Uh, because the only way that you're draining any battery is when you it encounters a magnet. Okay? So if it doesn't encounter a magnet, okay, then you are not uh, activating or uh, using any power, and you're not draining any battery power. So you have two button batteries in here, by the way. Uh, you get three for me because that's the way they come. They come three. So it would be nice if they had four in the package this way. If they had four, then you'd have two, and then you'd have two as a backup. But unfortunately, there's three. I'm looking for four. Maybe they sell a package of four, but right now you're getting three. So this is the deck, okay? And it looks exactly like the link that you're going to look at when you see Delray doing this trick, okay? So that's basically the deck itself. Now, you have the deck, you have the box, you get some labels here. These stickums almost look like postage stamps, but you can't use them as postage stamps. These uh, little things can put be put on your regular deck of cards, which does not come with the computer deck. You have to buy your own regular deck of bicycle cards. But you can use these to seal up a deck of cards once you've done... Oh, I dropped them on the floor. We'll leave them there. Once you've done... Uh, the uh, uh, hanky-panky that you need to do to do the routine my way, okay? So, and then you also get two magnets, okay, which I put it under my close-up here. I get a piece of um, uh, duct tape. Get some duct tape and just uh, duct tape it to the one, not one corner, but, you know, to one close to the edge of uh, one of the uh, edges of the close-up table. So, so, so you have um, the deck of cards. You have the on off switch to make it a five or an eight. Okay, and I'll tell you that what that means in a second. You also get a magnetic card. Now, there are uh, instructions. I uh, don't know where they are. Here they are. You get a six-page illustrated instruction sheets to uh, uh, see how the deck works and how to use it and some routines and, and all kinds of good nonsense like that. And so you're going to get that too. All right, I'm going to just take this, place this whole thing over to here. You get the, uh, like I said, you get the magnetic card, which I personally, I don't like that routine, but you may like it. Okay, and so you get all of that, and you get uh, the deck. Okay, so let's, let's, let's see how this works. Now, I've got, using my routine, by the way, uh, I've got um, a six, an extra six of clubs, extra six of clubs. Okay, let me just count here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I, two six of clubs, as I have, two six of clubs. One is five down. If you count the cards, it's one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth card down is a six of clubs. So that goes on the top of the deck, okay? Now, if you put a seal, one of these little seals that I showed you before, on the deck of cards, it's gonna look like a brand new deck of cards, okay? So you can do that if you want. Uh, and then the other six of clubs is gonna go on the top because I am gonna force the six of clubs and I'm gonna use a top force, all right? So now you take this and put it in the box Okay, and now that six of clubs that you have five down is now six down. Okay, and this is set for five, right? This is set for five. Okay, and it's underneath the, the magnet over here. So what I'm going to do is take out the deck of cards, maybe rip the seal if you want. Make believe I'm shuffling them because they're already shuffled. Okay. And uh, you can do some full shuffles if you want. Oh, no, just take the cards out as a regular deck of cards. Don't even use the seals. All right? Do a top force. Okay? Uh, and they say stop. 
And now I've just done a top force. You can see what a top force looks like on um, on YouTube, or uh, you know, or you go to Google and Google it, or YouTube, and show you how to do a top force. And so it is the six of clubs that I forced. Whoops. Oh, give me a second. I got to bend down here. Okay, so I, I forced the six of clubs, and obviously it's going to go more than five down from the uh, top of the deck here. All right, so now I'm going to place that in there, and of course, I like that. And you you put it as close to as you want to five down. Okay, and, and people don't remember; they don't know where you actually stuck the card. You could you could just stick it in any way you want. But makes it make it close to five down, obviously going past that. So now the deck of cards is all set. You know that five down, okay, in this deck of cards is going to be the six of clubs. It's going to be six of clubs. So now you're going to ask the uh, spectator to make four piles. So one, two, three, and four. Four piles. Okay. So let's make them a little bit more even. But you're going to leave the pile with the magnet underneath it where you put the pile that has the six of clubs five down. So you're going to say, all right, have them put the deck on that one there. Now take the deck and put it on this one here. And then take the deck and put it on that one there. And nothing happens. And of course, when I do this, it starts to beep. And you can see it's beeping. Okay, and what's going to happen is when it stops, it's going to be five down. Okay, I don't know if you can see that from here, but I'm going to try to pick up the magnet and the, you can see that the five, well, it just went away. But uh, it, uh, it will now beep and it will show that the card it's fifth down. Their card is fifth down from the top of the, the deck. So it found the pile, and now it's saying that it's five cards down. So we'll take the deck away, and we'll just count here. We have one, two, three, four. And you say, what was your card? And they'll say the six of clubs. And of course, it's the six of clubs. So that's the Delray Retro Computer Deck by Frank Paris. And it's uh, my homage to Del Rey and the card deck, okay, is 495, not 649 like the modernized computer deck that, uh, that Del Rey was selling. So it's 495. A lot of work in, went into this, a lot of research went into this, and uh, it's a uh, very simple way to, to, uh, to do the same trick, and now it's available. Okay, in stock, maybe, depends on how many people want them and how fast they want them, but that's the card trick, and uh, it's the Delray Retro Computerized Deck, and it's basically almost exactly the same way that Delray did it, and you can check the link above or below the advertisement to see the deck and how it works, and this is Frank Paris over and out.